attacks this evening to the most prolific serial killer in American history. He might just be the most prolific serial killer in U.S. history. Samuel Little may be the most dangerous man to ever sit in a Weiss County cell. On the 7th of June 1940, there was a young boy born, and this young boy grew up to be a competitive boxer. His name was Samuel Little. She fight for her life, you know, fight for my pleasure. Kentucky, 2012, he was arrested on a drugs charge, but already having a criminal record from armed robbery and raping young girls, he didn't really have a good chance in prison. She, she, she was laughing. Well, so after 2012 being arrested on drugs charge, raping and armed robbery, he was sent to prison for three convicted murders between 1987 and 1989. The FBI has considered him one of the most awful serial killers they have ever arrested, even worse than Ted Bundy. And knowing Ted Bundy as being the world's most famous serial killer, he tops the serial killer chart on 93 murders he confessed in prison that he just randomly killed 93 women across California across the US and he's actually drawn out a, a diagram of what these people look like and hopefully the FBI will get to the families and just be able to have closure and give them what they want an answer to what actually happened to their children to their aunts to their family members their friends so how did samuel little kill his victims well being a boxer in the past he would beat them up and then slowly strangle them to their death but why hasn't he been found on these murder cases 93 top in the chart because mostly the bodies that were found were incorrectly determined to be an overdose or accidentally just dying. So many of these bodies haven't been found yet. He is drawing up a diagram of where he thinks he buried them. Also, Samuel described uh, strangling a woman in a motel room, like Bates Motel, just off the uh, highway. After murdering her, he drove to the outskirts of the city and he just rolled her body off the cliff. I cannot believe what I'm saying right now because he earlier just met her son and shook hands with him. That son shook hands with his mum's killer. I cannot believe that. Imagine knowing that. Imagine just knowing, oh my god, my mum's going to be murdered several hours later and then her body's going to end up at the bottom of a slope how awful is that to know that you shook hands with your mum's killer oh god i cannot believe what i'm saying but that's how deluded this man is he was saying all this describing how he killed his victims he was laughing he had a smirk on his face i was just like whoa what am i dealing with right now when he admitted to these 93 murders, it was only a couple of days ago. So I got straight into the case. So that was the case of Samuel Little. I hope you guys liked this video, Halloween type themed video. So have a spooky Halloween and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao. Little explains that he killed sex workers or people with drug addictions because he thought they wouldn't be missed. <laughs>